Hi guys, this is Barbie Rocks, and I am still shopping at the secondhand store. As you can see, it's very busy here today, and I'm just going to show you the size of this thrift shop in my hometown. But what I've discovered here was I saw this doll here, and she she plays on music, and she's like one of those vintage Bradley dolls. So it was kind of interesting seeing this, but I'm going to show you what she does. So I, I, she's on a bass, and you can just wind her up and she starts to spin. Okay, let, let's just do this one more time in terms of making her spin. Here she goes. Oh, well, anyways, she, she, she spins around and she plays music. Pretty, quite pretty. But I'm going to go down the shelves and show, show you what's on the shelves in terms of porcelain dolls. Um, here's one. She's dressed in pink. And here's one in a box. And she's kind of cute. She's got like a sort of a baby doll face. I'm going to go ahead. She's really well, well done because she, this doll here is in mint condition. And... Um, for all you doll lovers out there, you know how exciting it gets when you see a doll and you think it's just beautiful and it's not been played with. It is one of the reproduction dolls, but um, I think it's fantastic. Check this out, guys. Look at the face on this doll. But anyways, in terms of the Barbies, um, I'm going to show you what. I've been wanting to get this Britney Spears doll, and it was so weird today. As I was looking, it was like... As I was looking at the shelf, I see her and I was like, oh, there she is. I didn't have to go online to order her. It was right there on the rack. And so this is the Britney Spears I've always wanted. So I've got that. I want to show you the other doll I, I picked up. I picked up this one here. And that is a Mulan doll. And she's got her original outfit. Okay, and I've also got this one here. And she's like um, one of those bend up. She's got articulated joints on all levels a beautiful outfit she's got her original shoes and she's got the hat and I'm gonna show you this I think she's she's like one of those riding Barbie dolls and I found this one here this one intrigued me because I looked at the outfit I looked at the doll I felt the weight of the doll and she's a fairly heavy doll and she looks really nice in the pink the bathing suit's so retro and hip so you know what? She's in, meaning she's in my basket. And then I saw this, guys. What do you think of this? Does anybody have any idea which Monster High doll this one is? I'm just wondering if this is a good find and whether I should get her or not. I'm gonna give you a very good look at her. So what do you think, everyone? Do you think she's actually, I'm not sure if I should put her back or if I should take her. I'm having like, second thoughts about that one. Now I'm going to scan the rack because sometimes I'm able to find some really intriguing vintage dolls. Here's one that is plastic and she she has her entire outfit and she can open she can actually open and close her eyes. Oh look how cute this one is. It looks like it's handmade. I don't know this one's really adorable. It's the bride and groom. And it says, um, actually the original tag used to be like $29, this is $29, but if we look at this one, I, I'm sure here you're going to only get it for like $4.99. It's like Precious Moments kind of doll. Here's another one. She's got her original outfit. She's going for $12.99. I'm going to go down this rack and just show you all the porcelain dolls I'm seeing today. I'm just trying to see if there's anything that sort of captures my attention and worth picking up today. So you try to look at the dolls that are sort of vintage. Okay, I'm going to go down here. Because if I look here, I can see some baby dolls. Um, let's check the baby. Oh, look at this one here. Now this one here is really kind of interesting. Now she looks like she's something from the 1940s or 1950s. Now she's not actually 
cheap. She's going on around $34. But look at the layers of her dress. Okay, let's, let's move on here. Okay, here's another porcelain doll. I'm not sure if it's the porcelain ones that um, are catching my attention today. But she's actually fairly nice. She's got a real nice... Okay, let's check this one out. I mean, these are for all those porcelain doll lovers out here. I'm just showing you what's on the, um, the local thrift store. Here's one. Um, she's got a velvet outfit on. Um, I'm really sort of into Barbies at this point. I really don't want to get a huge collection of porcelain dolls. Um, the only time I will get a porcelain doll, if it sort of speaks to me, like if it's got some sort of characteristics that I find fascinating or interesting, this one, she's actually really well made. What I mean by that is like, if we look at her, the bottom of her legs, she's stuffed with sawdust. She's She's got a really pretty heavy weight to her. So let's keep moving, but here's one. Like, I don't just don't, I just don't have the space and storage for this doll. I'm gonna show you how big she is. See, if I stand her up, can you get an idea of how big she is? She's actually quite adorable. I'm gonna stand back and show you how tall she is. She's a fairly big doll. She's at least 16 to 18 inches in height. And here's another one. Oh my goodness. Okay, I see another doll and she, she looks old. Okay. She looks fairly old because what's really good about this doll, no, she's not cheap, she's 29. She's got this, these legs and they're like soft legs. Like you can actually bend them and they're pliable and it's like, like, like a real baby. Her face is soft. You know, she's an actually a very lovable doll for a little girl who wants a realistic doll to love. This is it because she feels like a real doll. The weight of her, um, let's sit her up and I'll show you what I mean. Sit her up. She's got a lot of weight to her and everything and she's soft. And it's like you can give her a bath. So a little girl would probably enjoy this doll bring many hours of pleasure for the little girl. Her eyes open and close as well. I'm gonna show you. See how she can open it? And she's got like a weight of a real baby doll. Like she weighs heavy, at least five pounds or more. She's totally stuffed here, but her plastic is so soft like baby skin. So anyways, I'm gonna show you two of the beautiful finds that I saw today, these ones. They have the ability to open and close her eyes, so if we stand them straight up, she opens her eyes. You stand her straight up, and she opens her eyes. Pretty cool, huh? So anyways, um, I'm going to say I'm tuning out from Barbie Rock, so I hope you love the vintage finds that I found today. I, I'm glad I picked up a couple of Barbies, and so I'm wishing you guys all a happy Easter, and have a wonderful day. Tuning out for Barbie Rocks. Bye now.